Hey everyone. First off, I'm not a professional YouTuber or anything like that, so um, I apologize for uh, sound quality, no tripod, and things like that. But um, today I wanted to show you some experimentation work I've been doing with my Neptune 2 from Elegoo and how I was able to get Marlin 2 running. A lot of people think the only advantage to Marlin 2 is the ability to use some BL Touch functions that don't exist on the original firmware. There's some other stuff on there that's really cool that I'm gonna go over as well. So I'll walk you through how to set it up based on the repository I've created. You're more than welcome to download the repository and make changes as you need if you're familiar with Marlin 2, but the basic setup is there. And I've also got some files in my GitHub so you can download and get started right away. Okay, let's get started. Now real quick, I run Linux, so this may look a little different to you guys, but it does operate similar to other desktops, so um, don't worry about that. The steps are gonna be very familiar to you. But basically what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna open your browser and go to my repository. You're probably already there, but I'll put it in the uh, notes below if you're not so that you can get to it. You're gonna wanna click on the tags. Um, this number may be higher by the time you link to this but you're gonna to wanna to click on the tags link and then you wanna click on releases. Now, right now I'm calling this an experimental release. There may be a newer release up there in the future, but right now I have one experimental release out there. You're gonna to wanna to click on the assets link there. And then this is the file you wanna click. The Marlin 2093 Elegoo Neptune LVL, LVGL UI. Download that file. Save it to your desktop. I've already done that, so it's gonna overwrite it. Now anyway, I can open that file on my desktop here. Now I'm just gonna extract it and close. You're gonna see an assets folder and the Elegoo bin folder. Those are the two files you're gonna wanna copy to your SD card. I know you're used to seeing um, an, uh, different folders here, um, but for Marlin 2, they use the assets and the elegoo.bin file. Copy that to your SD card and then go over to your machine and place it in to the machine. Load your SD card into the machine and then you will be able to get started. Okay, I'm at my computer. I'm sitting in the dark because so you can see the screen. But I've inserted the SD card with the assets folder and the elegoo.bin file. You're going to see it erase sectors, update the firmware. You're going to hear some weird noises from your printer. And then you're going to see it erasing the pictures. I'm going to run through the whole thing so you can see how it works. It does take a minute. This is where it starts to make some funny noises. All right, the first time you do this, or the first time I did it, I've done it a couple times and I can't seem to make it start again. You actually have to go through and do the touch screen calibration. Um, I'm not really a fan of the color scheme here. The background is not a true black. So with a light on, it's rather hard to see. It looks kind of okay right now, but this is the default. If anybody knows how to change, I know how to change all the icons but they end up having a black background and it looks weird. So if anybody knows how to change the uh, theme used here, um, please let me know, I'd really appreciate it. Now, 
I'm gonna cut it off because I did make a custom boot screen and I wanna see if that shows up. Yes, that is my custom LED boot screen. So that is one thing I did do that I got to work. Now, the interesting things here, I'm not gonna go on the auto bed leveling till the end, but if you go to the settings menu, you will see a whole bunch of different options that you didn't have. One of the main options here is you can actually save items to the EEPROM or you can actually restore the defaults right here. So you don't need to use Proner Face or a firmware update or anything like that. I think that's pretty nice. The other interesting thing is when you go to the config menu, you see a lot of options. So you can actually go into machine settings right here, change your acceleration, your speed and your jerk. So you no longer have to do that through Proner Face or anything like that. The motor settings, you can actually set the steps right here. So again, if I needed to change my extruder steps, I'd measure my filament, go in, and then I wanna change it, I click on it, um, and then I can actually type in the new values and confirm. Once I confirm that, I wanna go back and I wanna save those settings to EEPROM. The ability to do that to me is kind of a game changer. Leveling settings, you can uh, set your coordinates, your auto leveling commands, and your offset settings. Um, there are advanced settings. They're not really that advanced, but you can take a look through the menus and see. Um, that's pretty much about it. If you go into the about menu, you can see that you're running this firmware version and what we're running, the Robin Nano 1.3. And you can turn your motors off from here. Set your fan settings, your language. Tool settings. Everything's about the same. I am going to talk about auto level for a minute. One thing that doesn't happen with this version is it does not go to the Z offset menu at the end of auto level. It just keeps the print head on the back right hand corner of the printer find that a little annoying but what you can do is you can go to the move menu once you're done actually what I would do is I would actually go and home the printer so home the printer and home all it's homing right now um, and then once it's done homing I would then go to the move menu you can actually see it's updating live where everything is right now So, and then you could adjust your Z to get to zero from here. And that's what I would recommend doing. And then you can do your paper um, gap test and set your Z offset. Again, back, this is a little odd, but you can set your Z offset back in the configuration menu under the leveling settings. Um, there is a, uh, where is it? Nozzle to probe offset settings, and you can set your offsets right within there. I'm going to start another video starting a print to show you all live. Um, live. I'm going to start another print to show you all live baby stepping. Okay, and we're back. Um, I've loaded a file onto the SD card. It's just a benchy. Um, but if I go to, sorry, haven't done this much. I sorry you can see i've loaded the benchy up the icon shows up that's actually not anything to do with marlin that's all in cura i'll put in the uh release notes here how to do that um there's a guy um his github's toiler um he's got instructions on how to use it you actually do it with the mks wi-fi plugin but anyway i'm going to choose the benchy i'm going to print the model now here's an example of something with the buttons that i don't like if anybody can see the confirm there, um, you got better eyes than I do. Um, so again, if anybody knows how to change the theme, I'd really appreciate it. 
and then I have the option and it's going to warm up. Um, also, I did not show the keyboard here that you can type in on the interface when you change numbers. I showed the number pad. Um, one thing to note, that keyboard's pretty hard to use, but the fact that it's there gives you capabilities that you didn't have before, so that's nice. I'm going to pause this and let the thing warm up, and when it starts printing, I'll show you baby stepping. And we're printing. I think the cover is going to, yeah, it's doing the wipe thing, so it's going to get covered. Another thing about the Neptune that's weird is this cover can get covered. This uh, screen can get covered pretty easily, as you all know. All right, it started to print. It's laying down my uh, skirt right now. But anyway, if I wanted to baby step, I can go right into the option menu. And then you'll see right here, there's a baby step option there. I have no idea why anybody would ever want to X or Y change and baby step that way. Um, but you can. Um, here... It's like the other menus. You can change it to 0 0.1, 0 0.01, and 0.5 here. And then if you want to baby step up, you just hit the Z up. And then you hit the Z down. And it's, you can see right here, my Z offset, as I bump it up and down, you can hear it. Well, I can hear it, but you can also see I'm changing it right now. So I probably screwed up my benchy, but that's okay. This is just a demo. All right. That's about it, guys. Um, let me know what y'all think. Uh, you can leave comments in my GitHub, comments on the YouTube video. Just really curious if you find this helpful or not. Um, if you have any feature requests, let me know. Um, and uh, take care. Have a good night. One thing I wanted to call out on this icon is it looks very purple. Um, that's because I'm using purple filament, not because of the screen. Everything else on the screen is very purple. I think the icon itself is because I'm using purple filament. All right, bye.